What's up, you two? The Marshu here. Well, sure, there's a lot of stuff going on. Everybody needs to be paying attention. Big heads up on everything. I mean, the earth changes, political, military movements, you name it. Everything's hitting the fan all at once, and we all knew it kind of would. You know, this this political game is just a smoke screen to keep people's attention away from the real issues of, of being able to survive what's about to happen. And, and, and the fact that, that, that this whole thing is going to collapse, and they've been on this for a long time, that it's not savable, and everybody knows it. it, 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 it we, we all know the minute we vote, it's, it's all going to be you know, rig. Yeah, even if we do get him elected, Ron Paul gets elected, what we gonna do? Send a hundred, a thousand people in there to hold his hand? Because that's exactly what it'd take. There's no, there's no way he's gonna go back to sleep or go back and watch your football game. There ain't nothing, there's nothing. There's nothing that's gonna stop this other than a collapse of it. There's no other way around it. Anybody that don't see that coming, I hate it for you. It, it, it is what it is. Nonetheless, it's the time, and, and there's a lot of, you know, it, it, this is what they don't want us to do, and that's, that's to, to learn what it is, you know, the, the reason, the power, that, that, and understanding the knowledge that, you know, that makes us who we are, and the abilities that we really have as individuals. And as long as we continue to play the political game and, and, and all this fighting amongst each other, then we'll never learn the knowledge that's being shown to us right now. And that's really what the key is. We should be paying more attention to what we're being shown for the simple fact that it'll do us more good in the end of something that's inevitable that we can't stop the event. But we can manipulate our outcome. And, and that's what it's all about. At any rate, you know, I... I, I that if you want to know about wars, there's plenty of YouTube sites. If you want to know about her changes, there's plenty of YouTube sites about all of them. And, and, and if you're thinking there's one YouTube site you can go to and just get everything, and you got another thing coming in that respect as well, there's no, nobody has it all. Nobody can keep up with it all. It was intended that way. It all happens at one time. <laughs> And to ignore the the knowledge that we're being shown is just going to cut our own throat later down the road. So we got we got to kind of sort of organize some way of, of being able to, to to take on these problems and tasks as they arise, and still be able to move on and, and gather the knowledge and understand what that was for. And and, and you know there's. It, you know, we just got to look at it like it is. And so I'm going to stand behind everybody in the movement, and I'm going to favor as many videos as I can of others that are doing their best, you know, to wake people up as to the situations that we're going through. And, they, you know, that's the best I can do. And what I want to look at here today, it, you know, I'm halfway through. I got one part of the cell put back together. I spent several days out here with my broke hands, uh, sand and all these plates back, back together. And uh, we see over here got Joe's come in. And I'm gonna rebuild this cell simply because I already have all the parts for it, and and, and we can continue with the HHO uh, balloon testing and all that. And and of course I also think I tried some different things here with some different uh, plates, and I wired up some of these with a jumper in the center. And, and pretty much made a, 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 a neutral out of them and, and hooked a positive to one side and negative to the other and I think we may have split the gas in there so I may have some I may be able to split the gas in the situation in the setup that I have just by rewiring it and so at any rate I want to take a look at these things because I put I took a lot I, I took copper aluminum iron or stainless steel I tried a whole bunch of different metal plates in the water you know, in distilled water, just to see what 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 types of stuff come out of. You uh, know, well, it turns out it's pretty awesome, to be honest, without even a question. Right here we have aluminum. This is what happened with aluminum plates are in water with 12 volt DC current. 
and these are these and these were in yesterday and I got this here is copper this is what happens when you put copper in water put electrical current in it turns blue and I made sure you know that not to have any of the, you know the wires or anything in the water in these tests I made sure there's nothing but the plate in the nylon bolts at the bottom in submerged and you can see that the positive the negative side it produces a, 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 you know a different different than the positive side so I'm thinking that we may be splitting the gas just by simply putting the neutral in the center you know because only positive currents going in that water and only negative currents going in that water so that in theory should be only split of course I don't know how that works so I have to check into I won't know till I pressurize on the, the thing over here and uh, I got some metal down here. I'm gonna make some cans to, you know, the explosion cans to keep them from keep the fragments from flying across the room or anything. Everything was pretty much laying right there. Only one piece flew across over into the corner over there. The cap itself split in two pieces. It was strapped across the top and a can around the outside, you know, a few inches out and give it some room. And uh, it'll be a lot safer than it was, nonetheless, you know, nothing's safe, gasoline, natural gas, propane, it don't matter, it's all deadly flammable. You know, it's, it's a shame that our technology won't help us out no more than it does with it, that we wouldn't have to go to all these lengths, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Now right here, I took, I took some samples of this out of my swimming pool out back, and, uh, and this is the algae that comes from my swimming pool. And that's you know, and I you don't have to believe me. I don't want you to believe me. I want you to do it yourself. Go get you some algae at the swimming pool. Make you a couple of these cells right here, and try it yourself. See what you come up with, because that that stainless steel, after a couple of hours in the water with with electrical current. And this is just regular black iron, which is you know stainless steel and iron. They still don't have the same properties pretty much. That's what that looks like. This is what comes out of the copper fuel cell. You can see that. And this is what comes out of the aluminum. Now you got to remember, all these metals that are right here are present in the human body. All uh, copper, lead, um, zinc, iron, magnesium, aluminum. You can look that up. Anybody can look that up. They want to. And the the most prevalent element in the body is is oxygen. It's like sixty five percent oxygen and twenty percent carbon and somewhere around ten percent hydrogen. And then the rest of it's you know within the one percent or tenth of a percent range. But at any rate, all these metals that you see here are in your body. And the fact that the water in this here is made by sunlight, which is, you know, a photon of light, is you can look that up in physics, that's a, that's a photon of light is electricity and magnetism woven together. And that's what, you know, that's what our entire atmosphere is, is absorbs that electricity from, from, from the sun. And that's what dissipates, you know, into the ground. And as it current passes through everything, it passes through that swimming pool, passes through yours, and my body. You know, it's no, no, there's no coincidence just to apply this. It closely resembles the waste from you and I. I mean, if you add these things together, that's exactly what it is. You and I are fuel cells, and we, we, we operate on the same exact principle as what you see here DC current in water. The sun produces that current, and, and it gets it from the galaxy, and the galaxy gets it from the universe, and so on and so forth. And of course, it always leaves the question as to where did that come from initially, and we're still at that same precedent. The fact is, you know, we, we're understanding that the electricity is the key to gravity, and all things, all things, electricity is the key to everything. It's what makes life possible, and knowing this, I mean, knowing this, I mean, even that, that right there, knowing that, that, that sunlight and water create this. When you have a planet with all these metals in it, then this is what happens with the water that come out of the ground. You know, that's ground water out of the well, out of that swimming pool. Nonetheless, that's what, I mean, that's life. It, it, 
when you see shrimp and crab living in 750 degree water in our ocean and then you go two miles below the ice in Antarctica and there's shrimp there too and, and the fact that, that all the planets are, are heated from the inside out there's no damn question about that you can see volcanic activity and, and, and whatnot on every moon and everything really and and the fact that there's a sweet spot of warmth inside every object out there that there's life on everything literally and it's plentiful and and even this has just been a few hours and it's already started and you know like, like I said this swimming pool if you put that water in there within seven days it'll do that if you don't do anything to it and, 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 and if you think about what's happening here, we're removing oxygen out of that water, creating oxygen depleted water, which is what the red tide algae is. It's the fact that the oxygen has been depleted through electrolysis. And when you put chlorine in it, that's an oxidizer that adds oxygen back to the water. So therefore, the algae won't grow as, as, as easy. That's the basic chemistry of a swimming pool. And, and, and this alone explains more than we should even know the fact that all these metals are present in the human body and this is what happens when you put electricity into it and, and that's exactly what's happening inside you and me and all of us and our connection is totally true electricity it is an electric universe without any question and so I want to throw that in there and help everybody with, you know, try to, you know, love is, is, the, is, the, is the key emotion. That's the, it is, period. And the day comes when that's the only thing left. There's nothing left. Either you have it or you don't. It's that simple. And so, you know, it, 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 I know you want to go and try to take over the government as hard as you can. But we sh we let that go a hundred years ago. We we we, we would have had a hard time stopping it then. But you're not going to stop that now. It's going to stop itself. These things are going to happen. Ain't nobody couldn't stop it. It's one of them. You done run off the cliff. You just ain't hit the ground yet. The entire thing collapsed in 2008. They just hadn't let you find out yet. I mean, you just hadn't woke up to it. There's no saving this system. There's no saving this government and changing it. There's no, you can't take 95% of the people out of the government, which is what is corrupt, and just what you're going to replace them with nothing. You don't have anything to put it back in there. You can't trust whoever you do put back in there. You can't walk up there and hold their hand the entire time. It, it, it's inevitable that the entire damn thing collapses, and there's nothing nobody's going to do to stop that. You can manipulate the outcome by being prepared for it. At any rate, I want to take a look at this cell before I get started on the other one because there's a lot of questions people have been asking me about this plate and, and I want to show you how, how I do these because it's not really hard once you think about it. When you get these plates cut, it's hard to get them the exact same length. That's the problem everybody runs into. The, 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 the right with any shear that you go find to cut these things, it's hard to get them exactly the same. That at any rate, you can get that whole pattern on, you know, get the smallest piece out of your whole stack and lay out your whole pattern and make sure you work from one long side and use a square and, and a, per, a parallel line off from one side to the center and work everything from the center. Measure out to your points from the center both directions. Don't measure anything from the outside edge except for one side that will square all those lines up and it won't matter how you put how you you know where you drill as long as you prick mark you know punch these holes as a pattern and clamp all these together then you don't have that problem you know and then what I do once I clamp them you know get that pattern laid out precise you know when you drill them it, like I said doesn't matter if the metal square or not so you can turn this plate around any the way you want to and the holes will still line up See, all four of those holes still line up no matter how you flip it because you work from the center out on, you know no matter which way you do it so there's a heads up man this is where we at probably by the end of the week we might have this thing back together and you know, we'll be doing some more tests with it yeah. oh it's pretty cool though what, what shows up for these different types of metals that are in the human body 
and through electrolysis, which is what the human body is. You know, all that touch base fan, peace and love. Big heads up.